Does your workplace HSC program lack senior management support? What do you do when you have no support from senior management, but you need to implement health and safety program at your workplace? Implementing a health and safety program without support from senior management can be challenging, but it's not impossible. Now you may have a question about how to recognize whether senior management is supporting the HSC program or not. And it's a valid question. Well, to know the answer, you have to watch our earlier published video where we have discussed 15 signs that shows lack of support from senior management for HSC program. The link of the video is in the description and in the I button, which is hanging somewhere left or right corner. In this video, we will be discussing 10 steps or ways you can adopt at your workplace to implement HSC programs when you lack senior manual support. Hello everyone, my name is Brijesh Kumar and welcome to my channel HSC Universe. Number one, compile supporting evidence. Start by collecting data and evidence such as incident report, near misses, documented safety hazards and any other relevant content. This will help to demonstrate the pressing need for HSC program and will serve you as the foundation of your advocacy. Number two, raise awareness and educate. Create awareness amongst your colleague and co-workers about the importance of health and safety. Share statistics, case studies and real-world examples that highlight risk and potential consequences of not having HSC program in place. Number three, identify and engage champions. Seek out individuals within the organizations who share passion for health and safety. These champions can help you to build and support educate for the program. Number four, start with the small but achievable steps. Begin with the small manageable initiatives that don't require significant resources. Demonstrate the positive impact of these initiatives to so senior management that progress can be made with minimal investment. Number five, collaborate. Work with other departments or teams that may have interest in health and safety, such as HR, legal, or compliance department. Collaboration can help you to gain allies and resources. Number six, develop a proposal. Create a well-researched proposal outlining the benefits of the health and safety programs, including potential cost savings, improved employees' morale, and reduced legal and insurance risk. Present this proposal to senior management in a clear and persuasive manner. Number seven, seek external support. Consider reaching out to the industry associations regulatory agencies or consultant who can provide guidance and support for implementing a health and safety program. Number eight, pilot program. If senior management remains reluctant, propose a pilot program in a small area of the organization to demonstrate its effectiveness. Positive results from the pilot program can help to build a strong case and a broader implementation of the HSC programs. Number nine, engage employees. Involve employees in the process of seeking their inputs and feedback. Engage and informed employees can be powerful educates for the HSC program. Number 10, persist and educate. Gaining the full support of senior management may not happen overnight. Continue to educate for the HSC program's value. Provide regular updates on the progress 
and adopt your approach based on their feedback and changing circumstances. Remember, persistence, adoptability, consistent communication and a commitment to the well-being of the employees are essential when trying to implement health and safety programs without senior management support. Is it impossible? Certainly not. Will it be a challenge? Definitely yes. But don't forget, challenges are what we do best as HSC professional. Stay safe and keep smiling. With this, I Bridges Kumar signing off.